Hello my soccer universe, I may not have made a preview video for League 1, uh, but that shouldn't stop me from showing you some League 1 uh, jerseys, don't you agree? Yeah. Also with me being on vacation while this post is, is nice content that I know you guys will enjoy until I come back with my League reviews. Of the teams that are this year in League 1, uh, it's down to 18, I actually have 12 of these teams in my collection. Um, and if you have seen my video on teams that are in the second league uh, for, for this season, you know I have plenty of more French teams. I was hoping that Bordeaux will make it up, alas they did not make it. So yeah, we're gonna look, I chose for each of uh, the teams that I have in my collection, I chose one jersey for most, I have only one jersey. I also realized I think I have never made a video on French club shirts, so this is the first time and that's why I chose mostly home jerseys. The only one that is not a home jersey is this wonderful 1920 PSG third shirt, which is actually based on a home shirt from the very, very early 90s. I love it, but we are not talking about this one and we're gonna go through the league standings from the 22-23 season in reverse order so the first team that we're looking at is not again survived the relegation scrap uh this not is one of those teams that i've always liked and ideally if you would have me choose one non jersey is it the one from the 95-96 season with the yellow and a green striping that they played in Turin in the Champions League semi-final. That is the one that I associate with those. However, when this was released, it's a commemorative jersey of their last title. I think 20 years after this was uh, released in 21, so this was the 2000-2001 season. I loved it. I know this has never been worn in match to my um, knowledge, however, I really love that it has the old crest of Nantes. Although I don't dislike the new one, but this one is much cooler. What adds in addition is I have been in Nantes in 2000. I didn't buy a jersey and it, I had once the opportunity to, to buy the original one, which would be cool to have those two. Um, but on the other side, I also think for Nantes, I would like to have an away jersey potentially in green to add a little bit more, but yeah. My North jersey, it's blank on the back. I bought it from Macron. Uh, when you sign up, you got a discount. So I got it a teeny bit cheaper. I still paid around 60 euros for it. But I love this jersey. I really love Shame it has never been worn in match because I think this is an absolute classic. Next up, we go to the 1920 season to a town that I have been to in France probably the most times, if not the second most times. This is Strasbourg and we're talking about this home jersey from the 1920 season. You know, one part of my collection always get a team for every town that you've been to. If you have the first league team or some or, or, or a decent sized team. So yeah, I got this one off of Vintage Football, which are based in Strasbourg. Because um, I really want to have one. And I have to say, many say the sponsor is too big, but I really like this one. I think that even the green fits very nicely with the base of the shirt. Uh, however, you know, I understand it's a little bit uh, with the red here. It's a nice jersey. Uh, it's back on the back. It is uh, uh, blank and, more and doesn't have the pattern. I also think that the sponsor here with Strasbourg being one of the uh, capitals of the European Union, it's, I get a European feel from this. In typical French fashion, it has the uh, sponsors, however, it also has the league logo. I think it's the only league uh, jersey where I have the league logo, which is uh, pretty cool, I have to say. Love the shirt. Next up, we go 21 22 to the current cup winners in Toulouse. This is the jersey that they won uh, League 2 in and got promoted. Um, it is by Kraft which is an uh, interesting one, first craft jersey. I have to say, uh, when I saw this, I really liked it. The purple with the sole pink uh, stripe down. And of course, Toulouse is the Rose City. So it, that actually makes sense. In addition, they have kind of the same ownership as Milan. So yeah, kind of sister club, if you would like. Um, this jersey actually has a little bit more, if you see that the pink pattern is a little bit broken up because there are all these uh, Occitan crosses in here. I'm not sure why it needed to break up the pink, but you know, it's a nice feature. So this side is a little bit darker purple than uh, this side. The um, the sponsor also is quite, quite nice. And then it's not overfilled with sponsors too. too, too. I also wonder a little bit about those white patches. But overall, I think it's a nice jersey. 
uh, again blank and then again with the uh, pink line here. Decent one. I, have, I would say I'm quite pleased with it. We stay in the same season. A very recent addition is this Stardras jersey from the 21-22 season. That's the home jersey. I want to say this is the player version, but I'm not 100%. I think one of the two Stardras jerseys I bought was a player version. In any case, uh, at first when I saw this, I was not sold on the color. But then I saw a few old pictures from Stadras, and you know Stadras was a huge team in the 50s, uh, reaching the European Cup final twice. Then they went into a long uh, series of decline. I'm very happy that they're back. And then I said, yeah, I need to get it. And when you see the old pictures, they had a similar color there. So I like that. I also like the shadow stripe. It gives me a slight 80s feel. And of course, the Arsenal look. I maybe in the minority, but I really like this crest. I think this is so smart how the S and the R combine. And then you have the gothic arch inverted with the crown because uh, Reims in the cathedral, the French kings were crowned. I think that's a winner. It's a blank on, on, the, on the back, yeah. Quite happy with that one, to be honest. There are a lot of recent shirts now at the beginning of this video. This one is the most recent one. With Nice doing relatively well, I need to have a Nice shirt. I know a black, red and black striped Milanfeld will, will be nice, but when I saw this one last season, I loved it. I loved it. This is one of the best jerseys uh, from the last league uh, season. I bought it in Triple XL because the only thing that I got it was I had when they were in the Conference League still uh, in it. Fortunately, I got then eliminated by Basel relatively quickly. But yeah, it's a nicely stripe. I, I really like the center stripe uh, and how it connects with the crest. Maybe the one thing I find weird is that here we have also the red and black. But on the other side, we don't. Uh, that to me is a little bit weird. But other than that, I think it's a really nice jersey. Plain jersey, Issa Nissa. My Nice shirt. Okay, all the shirts are coming. All the shirts are coming, and the next one is 0809 Lyon. When I started my French collection, because it was mostly PSG shirts at first, I said, yeah. Lyon, I've never been to Lyon, like I've never been to Toulouse, uh, so yeah, but I said Lyon is a team that needs to be there, it's one of the big teams in France, yeah, ever since I have the shirt, they uh, have not even qualified for Europe as far as I remember, however, I remember seeing this shirt around Christmas, I want to say three years ago for eight euros, and I said, it's a no-brainer. I don't necessarily like this, uh, this piping around the... Um, shoulders here i do love this i love the crest i love i mean maybe the breakup could uh this would, would, would be nice to not have but the material here on the back uh with this very intricate pattern uh that had me really really intrigued uh yeah those sleeves this is typically of the late 2000s but it doesn't bother me all that much it's also in interesting that some of the uh, umbra diamonds here have a uh, red but yeah I hope we will see more of this jersey, not only in Liga review videos, because otherwise it will be a little bit boring. Next one is an old jersey, but a very recent edition. They ha I had another Monaco shirt for a long time, which uh, was a black one. Uh, and then Idris saw this one for me at a thrift uh, shop. Couldn't complain, I think it's very beautiful. It's 2006-07, it's the classic arch template. I would have loved, you know, if the diagonal would uh, continue here, but I understand with the temp with the template it's not uh, that possible. But I have to say this is really well done. Uh, really nice classic Monaco look, also with the old style logo, although the new one is not that bad either. But yeah, this is a really nice shirt and also um, unlike most of the Puma shirts with Piri, where this pattern is here on the, here, here on the bottom. The white is actually uh, plain and then they put the pattern here on the top, which also makes it quite interesting to look at. Yeah, and Monaco shirts are always a little bit of a standard because this is such a unique pattern. Uh, and I also like, you know, that the sleeve, this one is white, this one is red to kind of uh, complete the look a little bit. The next one is one where a necessity arose during the 21-22 season. What was that season? Yeah, that was the one where Lille had that great run. And I managed to get the championship winning jersey. I was looking during the season for Lee George jerseys, but I always came back to that one. But I was going back and forth. How? What shall I do? How should I? And then, yeah, this one. This one. 
paid a little bit more than it should have been. It was a little bit of an odyssey, but in the end, I have it, and I'm very, very pleased with that. And since it's a championship-winning jersey, I even like it, like it more. Um, it's a New Balance jersey. It's a blank. It says Le Dog here on the back, which are of course the Mastiff dogs here. Uh, I actually find the design very interesting, although I would like more information why are these lines, but I think having this uh, chest band in blue across, or this chevron that is then going down, so it's a little bit an M as well. It's quite interesting to look at, but I would like to know what was the ins inspiration behind that, that one. But yeah, I think it's a really nice shirt and it's a historic shirt. That's the one that they won the championship in. Unbelievably. From the same season, I also got one of my favorite shirts from that season, uh, which was crafted by Culture by Puma. Or maybe my second favorite, but I decided I go with a new team. And that shirt is, of course, Ren. I've been in Ren, so I really like, like it. I love the mosaic pattern on that one. It's truly stand out in a way. I find the crest a little bit small on this one. But yeah, it's a blank. It goes back to 1901 when the club was founded. Uh, yes, large sponsor, but overall very, very pleasing look. And those crested by culture shirts are some of the best that you have. I think I even made a video about this particular shirt because it is really cool. And it's one that when you wear it, you feel different. Maybe that the pattern, you know, I would like to have this a little bit more centered, but that's small potatoes. One season earlier, Puma also issued some uh, nice shirts. And that's where we're going now with the next one with Arguably biggest, second biggest team in France. One of the big two, OM, Olympique de Marseille. This is a centenary jersey. I bought it, I think, from classic football shirts. Me buying an OM jersey, you know, one of the most traumatic events of my life was <laughs> when OM beat Milan in the 93 Champions League final. Um, because I was so sure that Milan is going to win that one. No, Marseille won that one. Uh, and I, you know, they were kind of the thorn in the side of, of Milan. So I never had big liking for OM, uh, at least growing up. Meanwhile, I have an immense appreciation of them because of their uh, rabid fan base and uh, games at the Velodrome are always something special. Um, it may not be your standard OM jersey because of the pinstriping, but it's the 120 year anniversary jersey. And what I really like is that in, within the pinstripes uh, there is written Olympique de Marseille in very, very small letters, which makes, uh, which makes it look a little bit uh, weird. I think I made a video where you can see this in detail. I also like here the cross from the city, for the city of Marseille. It's a blank, of course. But uh, it's a, quite a nice shirt overall, I know. OM originally didn't have the light blue, but I really like the light blue with the white. It's, for me, that's OM. So far in this video, we had many relatively recent shorts. Now we finish with the two oldest ones uh, that I'm going to show you. I, I have a few older ones as well. And we're going to start with the uh, 05 06 season and my recently acquired Racing Club de Lens shirt, one that I still cannot place. From what I gather is this is the correct template shirt from uh, that period and then they slapped the last crest on there. My question is how did this come into existence? However, uh, it is what I wanted. I wanted the striped last jersey and this one looks actually pretty cool. The template is a little bit like the one from the 2002 World Cup but not quite. It's, I think it's a beautiful jersey. It is exactly what, 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 what I wanted, but the fact that I cannot really place it and how this came into in existence also bugs me a little bit. So yeah, another last jersey will need, need to be bought, but I really want to have a nice balance between the two main colors because as of late it was either yellow heavy or red heavy and I want to have the balance. So there you go. And the last one, of course, are the champions, the team that I'm wearing. And yes, when I... Star with Soccer, PSG became a French team. They were well supported back then, financially, not as much as now. I agree when the Qataris came in, I had a little bit of a doubt with that. But most importantly, and what really cemented my fandom for PSG is when we were, they were wearing this shirt in the Cup Winners Cup Final against Rapid Vienna and beat them. And I was the only one in my class. That was actually celebrating this. Now, uh, this is from the recently acquired batch where I also got the Bayern jersey. This cost me 10. It's the sponsorless version. It's an L. Uh, it is a little bit tiny. I have also the sponsored version. 
Um, and I don't know yet whether I should sell one of these on or not. Potentially the, 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 this one because it's smaller, but I really love this one. I want to give this plain look. This is a PSG look for me. I know that originally they had a little bit like the 50 year shirt they had two seasons ago. Um, but I really like the sleeve cuffs here. I like the colors, although, you know, I don't mind the navy, but I have to say the royal blue and the white look really nice. The way that the crest is the old style crest with the whole creep and the uh, dove. It's not a cross, it's a dove that's in there. Or even though know, it's actually the fleur de lis. There you go. <laughs> I, I thought in, in, in initially this is the Holy Spirit and that's why there's a dove, but it, it could have also been the fleur of the leaf. Well, 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 whatever it is, I never thought of it as a big Christian symbol. It has here the old logo of the Ile de France region with Paris and then all the other regions around and of course the 90s, 80s, 90s PSG logo here too and a bunch of PSG logos as a shadow pattern in there. This is one of my favorite shirts overall. I really like this one. This is when Nike did really, really well. It's, it's the class for me. This is the PSG look. It's also the only one where they have a European triumph so far, so makes it even more special. So there you go. Here are twelve League One jerseys that I will use for this season. The question, is, of course, do I want to have more? Of course, I want to have have more League One. To me, League One is very collectible. A little bit underrated, but there's quite some variety in there, quite some interesting shirts. So um, I love Liga jerseys, to be honest. Yes, they sometimes have too many sponsors, but there you go. Um, I think one jersey that I would love to have that comes to mind is, of course, from the Crafted by Culture, the OM away jersey. would like to also have an away jersey for Lyon, but I have not quite decided. I'm tending blue, but it could also be red. Uh, I have to see if there's something interesting coming up. And, you know, I mentioned others in between. But, yeah, I love I love collecting League uh, stuff. Uh, although, probably, it will slow down a little, a little bit because I might make a slightly less League uh, videos than I used to. But, hey, let's see how it, how, how it goes. In any case, please let me know what you think about all these jerseys. Give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my software universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.